God says, I created this world in six to seven days and rested on day seven. Trust me, I can move the mountain that's been in your way. Our tribulations bring about perseverance, and perseverance brings about proven character, and proven character brings about hope. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts. God is saying to you today, I know you have been struggling for a long time, financially, spiritually, and emotionally. Trust me, listen to God. Maybe God isn't giving you a relationship right now because you can't keep the one you have with him. Run towards rooms no one thought you were qualified for. Trust him. The journey to the promise is where character and longevity are built. Impatience with the process is dangerous. It leads to grumbling and can ultimately delay your breakthrough. Don't forget that. He died for everyone. Simple as that. Comment. Thank you, God. If you needed to hear this today. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. God says, I know your heart is broken. I know it's hard to move on, but now I am close to the brokenhearted, and I will give you rest. Matthew 5 to 3 5. Happy are people who are hopeless, because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Happy are people who grieve, because they will be made glad. Happy are people who are humble, because they will inherit the earth. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Do you all remember that time you didn't see a way out, and God made a way? God hears your cry for help. I mean if you're thankful. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 Psalm 56-3 When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 121-2 My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Sometimes, God is going to give you the same test over and over until you know better, because to know better is to do better. Psalm 27 to 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Pray, trust, and leave it in God's hands. There's peace when we trust in the Lord, there's fullness when God's will happens in our lives, and there's happiness when we submit ourselves to God. Comment Amen if you believe it. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily ended. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. God has a great plan for your life. He is directing your steps, even though you may not understand how. Just know that your situation is not a surprise to him. The Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I mean, if you're thankful, you never gave up. You pushed through it all. Now it's your time to receive God's blessings in a major way. God says, I have chosen you. I have called you. Type yes if you believe in God.